My name is Claire Legrand. I'm French. I've done my studies in France and then I worked in England for a company called Black and Beach. I'm still working for them since six years. Um, I work in marine renewable energy, which uh, comprise the wave energy and the tidal currents energy, so either turbines or devices to try to transform waves into electricity. We do. We are a consulting firm, Black and Beach. So, as engineers, we do lots of different things. It involves lots of economic studies sometimes to try to know how much will it cost to generate this electricity with wave and tidal. It could also be sometimes I do resource assessment, trying to calculate how fast the currents are and where are the best locations to put the turbines. Um, sometimes I also do performance checking, like because lots of people test their devices in, in tanks or in the sea, and we would tell them how to test it and check the results, how much electricity they produce. Um, so as a consultant, we really do lots of different things, um, from design to economics. I started my career as a marine engineer. I realized in England they were doing energy with the waves and the tides. And so I went into the UK to do a um, master in renewable energy. What I think the most rewarding is to work with the leaders on, on these new technologies because as a consultant we are, we are working with lots of different people and really one, one of the best inventors in the world that comes with crazy ideas uh, of doing like a kite pattern under the sea or like a crazy boys going everywhere and as engineers we we talk to them and try to design their their ideas to put them in practical forms and concepts and as it's a new technology everybody is quite exciting excited about it and it's great to be at the, the leading on the more global thing is I wrote the standard uh, the international standard how to do a tidal resource assessment because it's so, so new that with only six years experience I'm already one of the experts so I've been elected to be the British expert in tidal resource so all the country in the world elected three experts in their country and we meet every year and we decide what people should do um, to conduct a tidal resource. So, I, well, I hope to install some of these devices in the water because at the minute um, the frustrating part of the job is that it's all pre-feasibility and design. In high school, you do physics, math, and biology. You don't have to choose between them. You just follow the main science. And then after the um, 18, like my, the A level, mm -hmm. um, then you have, I have chose math as my major and physics goes with it as a, to become an engineer. So it was math and physics basically for three years, and then I chose marine for two years, and then renewable for one year. I didn't know what job it would lead to, and I think most of the people at the end is like this, you just follow whatever you like at school. I always liked math and physics, and I had no idea where it would, it would lead. I didn't know what I wanted to do, but my teachers were good at saying, well, just continue, you're good at that, it means you like it, which I didn't realize, but <laughs> I realized, no, if you're good, yeah. most of the time it's because you like it. And so I continued doing math and physics as much as I could, because that leaves all the doors open, and then slowly you just choose cool. small, yeah, small step by small steps, and you arrive to something, if you continue doing what you like, you arrive to a job that you actually like.